Cinderella was a pretty girl who lived with her cruel stepmother and two ugly sisters. Because they were jealous of her, she was not allowed to mix with friends or to go to parties. All day long she was washing, cooking and scrubbing, whilst in the evening there was always plenty of darning and mending to be done. One night she sat alone by the fire. She was weary and sad because the ugly sisters had gone to a grand ball at the castle of Prince Charming. I do wish I could have gone to the ball, she sighed. It would have been so nice to wear pretty clothes and drive in a fine coach just this once. You shall have your wish, said a gentle voice behind her. Cinderella turned, startled, and saw a beautiful lady in a silken gown. Do not be afraid, my child, said the lady. I am your fairy godmother. But I have nothing to wear, said Cinderella. The fairy smiled. My magic wand has great powers. Look. The fairy touched a pumpkin. In a blaze of light, a gilded coach appeared. Just as quickly, two lizards became footmen for the coach, and two little mice appeared as proud white horses. Before Cinderella had recovered from her surprise, she found she was wearing a long, shimmering dress of finest silk and a pair of real glass slippers. Now you may drive to the ball in your coach, said the fairy. You have nothing to fear, but I must make one condition. I'll do anything, anything you say, cried Cinderella. Then remember, child, continued the fairy, leave the ball before midnight, for on the last stroke of twelve, you will lose your pretty dress, and your coach will once again become a pumpkin. Happier than she could ever remember, Cinderella arrived at the ball. The great castle hall was filled with couples dancing to the merry music, and the ladies of the court made a colorful picture in their gay dresses. Most beautiful of them all was Cinderella, who quickly attracted the attention of all the courtiers. She was presented to the prince, who was captivated by her beauty and danced with him many times. So happy was Cinderella that she did not notice the time passing. Suddenly she was startled to hear the first stroke of twelve. Heedful of the fairy's warning, she sped from the hall, but in running down the steps she lost one glass slipper. The prince who had followed her picked up the slipper. The girl who can wear this slipper, he announced, is the girl I will marry. Tomorrow we will search the town to find the owner. On the following day, there was great excitement among the ladies of the town. Everyone wanted to know the name of the beautiful girl who could wear the glass slipper. As the prince went with his courtiers from house to house, many ladies tried to put the slipper on. 
At last he came to Cinderella's home, and the ugly sisters were eager to try the slipper, but their feet were much too large. As the prince turned sadly away, he saw Cinderella in her ragged clothes. This girl also may try the slipper, he said. The ugly sisters laughed at the idea of Cinderella trying the slipper on, but the prince insisted. Cinderella came timidly forward and put the tiny slipper on. It fits, cried the prince. This is the lady who shall be my bride. So he took her away to his castle, and they lived happily ever after.